Assalamualaikum and welcome back. Uh, so we continue with our chapter 5 on fatty ester. So we already cover on the definitions of the fatty ester and then uh, we also uh, are able to describe the production process of fatty ester and its derivative. So the remaining is we want to uh, learn about the uses and applications of the fatty ester. So as you can remember, this is the flow of the uh, process to produce the fatty ester, which is we have, uh, which we are we have two process, which is trans esterification, which is uh, from fats and oil, while your esterifications from the fatty acids. So among the application and uses of the fatty ester is uh, first it is uh, used. Uh, as the surfactants and emollient uh, which is uh, mainly used in the productions of the detergent, textile, cosmetic, pharmaceutical and also the plastics. Other than that, uh, the fatty ester can be used as the solvent and adjuvants in the agrochemicals. It also used as the nano emulsions for the agriculture and industrial application and lubricant and lastly uh, as the biofuel. Uh, this is the most important applications of the fatty ester, uh, ester uh, in the biofuel. The process of the production of biofuel from the fatty ester is trans ester verification, where the product produced is the bio uh, diesel. Bio diesel is a domestic and renewable fuel. Uh, which is produced from the palm oil and also the animal fats. Uh, Biodiesel can be used in any concentration with the petroleum based diesel fuel in existing diesel engine with little or no modification. That means your biodiesel need to be added into your uh, diesel uh, to be used in the diesel engine uh, with little or no modification. Biodiesel is not a raw vegetable oil. That means we need to produce from the chemical process where there is a need for us to remove the glycerin from the oil. Okay, the sources of the biodiesel is from the plant and also the animal. So um, uh, among the plant uh, that has been used as the biodiesel is the soybean, uh, cotton seeds oils and sunflower oil. For the fats, uh, it is from the beef tailo, uh, part lard, and also the poultry fats. Other than that, it also can be produced from the recycled cooking grease. That means your uh, recycled cooking, um, cooking uh, food. Okay, uh, there are four main productions of the biodiesel. Uh, it can be direct use and blending, micro emulsions, and uh, cracking. And the trans esterification is most common production method for the biodiesel. So the users uh, they use uh, vegetable oil and animal fats as their feed, and the reactions and of the fats um, with the alcohol will, uh, came from the esters and glycerol, which is our products of the biodiesel. Now, this is the figures of your biodiesel. If you can see, there are two layers of the biodiesel. Uh, this is the your products of the biodiesel and the byproducts, which is glycerin, which is much, much more thicker than your biodiesel. Uh, so, usually, uh, why uh, our biodiesel cannot be implemented directly into our engine, uh, engine for the uh, cars? Um, it is because the diesel fuel injector are not designed for viscous uh, fuels uh, for like uh, vegetable oil that's, uh, that's made in order for us uh, to use um, this uh, fully by diesel uh, we need to redesign our uh, engines for the diesel Okay, um, for the biodiesel production, uh, it is from the process of trans esterification. As you can remember, it is from the reactions of the fatty acid and also the glycerol uh, with the uh, sorry and um, fats and oil, or we call it as the triglyceride with the um, methanol here. So methanol uh, with the help of the catalyst, we can produce your fatty ester or biodiesel, and also the byproduct which is glycerol or glycerins. 
Um, in the productions of biodiesel, we use an alcohol. So the alcohol used can be methanol or ethanol. But usually, methanol uh, will be used uh, because of some reasons. Uh, first, the ethanol is more expensive than methanol. Uh, second, when uh, using ethanol, it can produce uh, the quality which is unfavorable uh, for the process. Uh, first, it, the conversions using the ethanol have the lower conversions of uh, ester. And the ethanol uh, that is being used in the process also uh, cannot be recycled. If we have remaining of ethanol, it is very difficult for us uh, to recycle. Other than that, because of the viscosity of the ester produced from the ethanol is slightly higher than uh, from the methanol to produce methyl ester. And uh, lastly, uh, because of the clubs and poor uh, points of ester produced from ethanol is slightly slower than of the methanol. Okay, uh, this is the uh, figures of the biodiesel production. The triglyceride with three fatty acids and glycerol react with the ethanol and the catalyst co uh, and then the reaction can produce the biodiesel and the remaining is the uh, glycerol. So by the, this is the figures for the biodiesel production process uh, where your animals or vegetable oil and fats uh, will react with the uh, methanol in the process of the transesterification to produce crude biodiesel. But our crude biodiesel needs to be refined first before we use. And then the uh, byproduct of the crude glycerin also need to be refined to uh, to have the glycerin um, byproduct and also uh, there will be some remaining of the methanol which we can be recover back okay so recover back and we add with the catalyst for example the potassium hydroxide go um, the process of the methanol will be uh, cont uh, continue okay uh, so by this blend uh, so the biodiesel blend for uh, um, in the in the productions of diesel engine uh, for diesel for the application of diesel engines uh, we have for example B2, B5, B10, B20, and B100. So actually, um, this B which represent our how much our uh, biodiesel had been blended in our uh, diesel. So, if we have the B100, that's mean 100% of biodiesel is being used. If we have B20, that's mean 20% of biodiesel and the remaining is um, from the diesel of the petrol. Okay, so why uh, we are into the uh, use and uh, into the uh, by into the productions of biodiesel from uh, flat fats and all. Uh, first is because of the high energy return and high energy return from the productions of the biodiesel and also as alternative fuel um, from the petroleum which uh, we are depending and we know that it is depleted nowadays. Uh, biodiesel also reduce the life cycle of greenhouse gas emission as we know our petroleum uh, products uh, will produce a, a gas greenhouse gas emission which uh, we want to reduce it okay biodiesel also reduce the tailpipe emissions of um, tailpipe emission uh, from the product, product, petroleum products so except of um, uh, NOS we cannot um, reduce the production of tailpipe emissions Okay, by this also improve air quality because we are reducing the daypipe emissions and has positive impact in our human health because we know when we reduce the emissions of the uh, dangerous uh, gases so we can improve the air quality. Okay, lastly it's because it improves the engine operation um, and also it is easy to blend. So we are now in still in research in stage uh, emission. 
but we are going to use implement uh, implement uh, largely uh, in Malaysia in one in later so uh, you can watch the video that I will attach uh, from this video and I think uh, that's all uh, this is uh, the end of the chapter 5 thank you